Jaguar has comprehensively updated its F-Type for 2020. And coming up now is everything you need to know about it. But before I start, make sure you subscribe to the channel, switch on those notifications, and as ever, leave your comments below. This is the F-Type Coupe and Convertible for 2020. It gets a heavily reworked front end, a range of four and eight cylinder engines and a tweaked interior. And this is all designed to keep it feeling fresh in the face of newer competition, like the 992 generation Porsche 911. Not only that, but the facelift is designed to extend the car's life before an all new version, potentially an all electric sports car, arrives in 2022. Now, Jaguar has worked really hard on making this car look lower and wider. In actual fact, its dimensions are identical to the car it replaces. Now, at the front, the grille actually is lower and wider than before. It's totally new. The strengthening beam where the number plate used to sit on has now been removed. Um, new grille design, these nice little lozenge design with a gloss surround with a satin interior. Um, nice little design touches, and that's something I'll pick up on a little bit later on. There's the F-Type logo at the bottom, if you've forgotten what car you've bought, and the whole bumper is new. The entire bumper section is new for this new F-Type. This splitter has been inspired by the Project 7. You remember that one? That F-Type, that mad F-Type from a few years ago, that has been inspired by it. But the biggest change, the unmistakable change with this new new car are these headlamps. They are incredibly thin, aren't they? Probably some of the thinnest on any car in production at this moment in time. Now there are four LED blocks there. Uh, there's the traditional Jaguar J-Blade design, but just like the XE, when you look a little bit close at these headlamps, again, there's a nice little design touch. There's a nice little monogram pattern there. Now if you know your Jaguar heritage, you'll notice that that is the Jaguar lozenge badge, the first Jaguar badge way back in the 1930s and 40s. And it's just, again, nice little touches that remind you that you've bought a quality car. Now to the side, brand new wheels, three new designs for the F-Type. This is an F-Type R. These are 21 inch in size, diamond cut. Looks really nice, actually. Um, and then from here, you can see another big change to this car. Now, You'll note on the old F-Type, the headlamps used to come up over the bonnet, but now, with the headlamps down on the bumper, Jaguar has been able to really crispen up this crease here, square it off a little bit. There's some gorgeous surfacing here. I can't really show you. We're gonna to have to try and alter the lights in here because there is some beautiful surfacing here. Um, new vents as well, they are real, they're not fake. Same design as in the grille at the front and at the sides here, the same grille design. This car's got a black pack as well, so all of this vent is painted in black and there's the black leaper as well. Before, Jaguar in letters was spaced out, but here we've got the leaper. Now at the back, not much has changed at all, which is good news because especially in coupe format, the F-Type was always a stunning looking car and this car doesn't change that at all. Now, fun fact for you, the entire side of the car is one piece of aluminium pressing. Here, it's actually one of the widest of any car anywhere in the world. Okay, what's changed? Well, it's the little design touches, such as the lights. Now, on the old F-Type, they had a roundel design that referenced the E-Type. Here, it's the chicane design, according to Jaguar, and uh, it references more modern Jaguars, like the E-Pace and the I-Pace. And again, you've got the little monogram design there. Um, what else has changed? Well, around the number plate, actually, there's a new uh, line here that's pulled outwards on the previous F-Type. It was more designed around the number plate. This car's got the black pack as well, so all the badges are in black, which I personally think looks really good indeed. And then the lower valance. It's been carried over from the previous F-Type again, but what's new on this R model, R has been uh, etched into the exhaust pipes. Again, a nice little design touch. Now inside, 
the new F-Type, there are two big changes in here. Firstly, it's tech and then it's quality. Let's talk about the technology first. Now, in the center of the dash, every F-Type now gets a widescreen 10.2 inch display. Um, it's your typical Jaguar in control uh, touch screen. We're very familiar with that. Um, and it brings the F-Type in line with the rest of the Jaguar range. Now in front of you, this is the big change. It's the 12 inch display. Now the old F-Type had a couple of clocks with a display in the middle. This one is a widescreen format. There are different displays and it's highly configurable and it looks really good indeed. Now the other thing, you won't be able to tell this on video, you have to get inside the car yourself, it's the quality. Now much like the XE, this time round the F-Type facelift brings in a more mature, better made interior. Now the plastics feel better, the levers feel an awful lot better, but there's also a sprinkling of little design touches that sort of remind you of the fact that you're driving a Jaguar. Now, firstly, there's this lozenge pattern, which we've seen in the lights. The monogram in the lights has been repeated on the doors and on the seats, which is a nice touch indeed. And then there are little things like Jaguar on the, the uh, glove box release button there. Now, in total, these changes aren't dramatic, but they do help to make this interior feel just a little bit more special. Jaguar has slimmed down the F-Type's engine range. 295 bhp 2 litre is still the entry point, but the 3 litre supercharged V6 has gone. Happily, the 5 litre supercharged V8 remains, but now it has more firepower. The new P450 gets 444 brake horsepower and the choice of rear or all wheel drive. Then there's the F-Type R, now with 566 bhp and 700 Nm of torque. That's up 24 bhp and 20 Nm over the old F-Type R. It also now comes with all-wheel drive. The 200 mile an hour SVR has gone for good though, but the new F-Type R gets the SVR's chassis with new adaptive dampers, springs, anti-roll bars and stiffer rear knuckles and ball joints. The R also gets 20 inch wheels, 0 to 60 miles an hour now takes 3.5 seconds and it's limited to 186 miles an hour. No matter which F-Type you go for however, they all come with an 8 speed automatic gearbox now tweaked to give quicker gear changes. The V8 models also get a switchable active exhaust with a new quiet start function. Prices, how much is it going to start? Well, the F-Type will be starting from £54,000 with the V8 models kicking in at £70 and rising all the way up to £103,000 for the 575 PS all-wheel drive. Now, we're going to be driving this car at the beginning of next year. In the meantime, let us know what you think about it. Leave your comments below and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.